There's no other way.
you for the blessing of being able to say we made it through. We made it through 2020. And even as we look into this 2021, we know we can't take one step without you, Lord. So we call on you this morning, thanking for you for keeping us thanking you for having mercy upon us, thanking you for loving us and for forgiving us and for showing us a way that is like no other. So we thank you this day, Lord. We call on you to shore us up on our leaning sides. Lord, we're struggling even as the winter snow covers us and blankets us we know that the days are short and the nights are long and that some of us are suffering and so we ask Lord that you would send angels just to be with those who are in need today those that are struggling for whatever reason Lord we ask that you would send your emissaries to go and to be with each one that they might feel your presence that they might renew their covenant that they might know that they are with the holy and lord i thank you for keeping our church family that you have kept us through many toils and, and dangers and that you are showing us a better way help us to find and to Stay on the path that leads to you and your righteousness. Lord, we can play, pray your continued blessing on those in our country that are preparing to do a new thing. We ask you to keep them safe. We ask you to go to California and Colorado and Florida and Michigan and all of the places on the East Coast that are struggling to go to Texas and Alabama and Georgia and South Carolina, North Carolina, all of the places around the world, Minnesota, Wisconsin. All of us need you, Lord. Be with our children today. Be with them and help them to know that we're still holding on to you. Give us hope, Lord, for this day and for all the days to come. Show us your light in the midst of the storm and clouds. Help us to know that the sun is still shining, that you are still there. In the name of Jesus, we pray your blessing upon the preacher this day. That you will send a word that will lift us and carry us into tomorrow and the days ahead. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, we ask it all. Claim your victory through Jesus Christ. Amen, 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 amen. 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 Jesus, thank you, Lord. Jesus, thank you, Lord. Jesus, let us come in and earth. 
in this place. Amen. Amen. We have to remind ourselves to invite the Lord into our hearts, into our minds, especially into our minds. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Welcome to 2021 at Dupay JMB Church. We're glad to have you. Amen. Welcome, welcome, welcome. The Lord is in his holy temple. Amen. 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 We want to just make sure that everyone knows that the pastor is continuing with the prayer call, God's word lighting our path. Amen. We also will be continuing in our Bible study on Wednesday, uh, starting with the book of Genesis. Genesis. Reverend uh, Dr. Shirley Brummel will lead us uh, as we begin this new year, and we hope that you will join us on Wednesdays at 715 for that. 
Not to forget our Sunday school every Sunday with Sunday school classes at 10 o'clock, and that will be on the screen soon, and our 3D and TS3 classes uh, during the service, as well as our intercessory prayer on Tuesday evenings at 7.30. And we are just continuing in the way of the Lord as the Lord lights our path. Amen, amen. We have a video for you this morning, so watch your screens. Amen. giving honor to God, to Pastor Miller, Reverend Lana, ministerial staff, officers, members, and guests. Good morning, DuPage, and Happy New Year. My name is Ebony Baker, and on behalf of your entire steward board, we are excited to welcome you to our annual virtual prayer breakfast this Saturday, January 9th at 8.30 a.m. As you can see from the video, Prayer is a great way to start off our year. Our theme for the prayer breakfast is Feed Your Soul. In DuPage, your steward board has a question for you. Will you be with us? Are you ready to feed your soul? Our guiding scripture this year is Psalms 119, verses 103 to 105. Your words are so choice, so tasty. With instruction, I understand life. DuPage, there is something so powerful with starting off the year together in prayer. Our annual prayer breakfast is that time for you to engage with all of us in all of the areas of prayer that we so desperately are seeking God's grace for. We have three quick announcements that we want you to know about to get ready for this Saturday. As you can see, registration is going on now. We will be doing our virtual prayer breakfast via Zoom. If you need any help with the registration link online, feel free to reach out to a steward or call the church office. But all you do is click on the registration link found in the weekly dish or on our church website. You will notice when you register, you will have a chance to choose a breakout session. We are gonna be opening up our virtual prayer breakfast in a powerful prayer opening program with pastor along with some stewards and other ministerial staff members. But the second part of the prayer breakfast is devoted to you. It's devoted to your prayers, your needs, and it's a chance to pray together with each other in a smaller prayer circle. And it is something for all ages. Whether you're a youth, you're an adult, a teen, or a senior, each and every one of you will be able to engage in these sessions with us. And finally, we know it's usually breakfast time together. So be on the lookout for some amazing recipes that the stewards are putting together for you to use before or after this amazing program. Pray with us and get ready to feed your soul. God bless you. Oh, how exciting is that? January the 9th, 
Saturday at 8.30 a.m. Amen, amen. We're excited. Thank you, Sister Baker. Amen, amen. We want to take a moment now to welcome vis visitors and guests who are with us today, who are always with us. We're glad to have you. We want to sing our song of welcome to you as the choir helps us here. Amen, amen, amen. There's a sweet, sweet spirit in this place. Oh, don't you feel it? Don't you feel it? And I know that it's the amen, amen. of the Lord. There's a sweet expression on each face. the Lord everybody thank God for the life and the health and the strength and the sanity uh, praise God uh, to see this first Sunday of 2021 praise God to see ourselves in this future uh, that we're living in right now I want to thank the year in givers uh, praise God uh, if there's any year in givers that uh, you know you sent in something and uh, we got it here to make sure the date, uh, you better remind us of it. Look out. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, praise God. But thank you. And thank you, praise God. Uh, just a bedrock of faith uh, that continues to keep this ministry strong and vibrant. Be encouraged. You're blessing the Lord, changing lives, and helping some who are less fortunate than you are. God bless you. Let's look to the Lord in prayer. Eternal God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you. We wouldn't be able to give anything. A hallelujah, if it had not been for you, your grace and mercy that kept us, keeping us in the places of resource and provision. But thank you, God, more than the practical places, the blessings of resource and, and provision. Lord, we thank you for spirits of charity and generosity and of compassion, the joy we get. Hallelujah. When we help somebody, lets us know the joy you get when you look beyond our faults and see our need. We give you glory and praise you for this ministry that continues in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We claim the victory and pray and let every heart say amen. Amen, beloved. He is good, for 
then I'll know what to do. I won't go alone. I'll never go on my own. Just let your spirit lie and let your words abide. Speak to my heart, Lord. Give me a holy word. If I can't hear from you, but then I'll know what to do. I won't go alone. I'll never go on my own. Just let your spirit guide and your words abide. Speak to my heart, Lord. Give me a holy word. If I can't hear from you, then I know what to do. I won't go alone. I'll never go on my own. Just let your spirit guide. And your words of life speak to my heart, Lord. Give me your holy word. If I can't hear from you, then I know what to do. I won't go alone. I'll never go on my own. Just trust me, God. And let your words of life speak to my heart. If I can't hear from you, then I know what to do. I won't go alone. I'll never go on my own. Just let your spirit go. And your words of life speak to my heart. Speak to my heart. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this privilege to preach the unadulterated, unvarnished, uh, un uh, hallelujah, pasteurized, or homogenized. I thank you, Lord, for this plain gospel, fire and brimstone gospel. Thank you, Lord, for sin and salvation gospel, heaven and hell gospel. Now, Lord, lift us up above this petty, mundane pace that hinders us from day to day and allow our eyes to see the bright and the morning star of our new horizons. Bless this word that it might open the wellspring of joy and that we might know you're among us. Let the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart, be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and certainly my redeemer. And let every heart say, Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. We're in the Psalms, the 27th Psalm. And we're at the 13th verse, which clearly says, I had fainted unless I believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. You'll help me get started and you'll help us get started this 2021 year. If you look at somebody, hallelujah, if there's nobody around, then look at yourself. Praise God. We're going to get a mirror, get the mirror for the second Sunday, for the sheltered in, the solitude, folks that a hallelujah, you're not by yourself, you with yourself, praise God. And let me hear somebody say, step out on faith. <laughs> praise the Lord. Well, it's 2021. 2020 is over. Yay! <laughs> uh, haven't so many been looking to get past 2020. Come on, we're shouting at home. I can hear you. <laughs> Aren't we ready for a new year? Uh, we're centered. Uh, we're anchored. Our experiences have advanced us. 
Uh, hallelujah, trial has helped our self-development. Uh, we've developed mindfulness. We're focused, fully living in the present day. We're ready for 2021 right here and right now. And I'm so encouraged. And I'm encouraged especially uh, by the DuPage Nation. Praise God. Because of your faith, you've shown such great faith. Hallelujah. However, uh, there's one thought, one consideration that does occur. Some say we're living in the new normal. Uh, we're living in the now, but it seems like the things are changing so fast. Uh, what's happening now is changing so fast. Uh, revelations are immediately outdated ideas, new approaches our recycled comfort zones. The new normal means that now has become obsolete mm -hmm. uh, because now is always changing. But beloved, we get stuck mm -hmm. and then have to play catch up and therefore remain out of sync. Pray with me, somebody. And hallelujah, turn that mic down over here because I'm preaching this morning. I can hear the amen. And say amen, somebody. Amen. I don't need, I don't know, and I don't want to get stuck in the places that I got stuck in last year. Uh, we get stuck. I don't know who I'm preaching to, and I don't know who's stuck in what. I know some get stuck on this, and some get stuck on the other, and some get stuck on him, and some get stuck on her, and some get stuck on this, and some get stuck. You don't have to say amen this morning. I don't want to get stuck. I, I hear God telling me, I don't want you uh, to get stuck, Reverend Miller. I want you to succeed. I want you to really be who you are already think you are. Help me, Holy Ghost. God says in 2021, I want you to be blessed the way you want to be blessed. Uh, so look around and see that reality is alive and constantly changing and expanding. Life is a spiritual warfare with a cunning enemy who is constantly presenting moving targets. Our only hope is in our spiritual disciplines and walking by faith and not by sight. And letting God's word be a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our pathway. Being able to speak the truth but speak it in love. A hallelujah. And to hope and to care for the souls of each and every one of us. Praise God. I want to keep changing and improving and constantly growing. And that's what the prayers and the Bible study and the meditation and the spiritual disciplines do for me. It keeps me a step ahead uh, of the enemy. Say amen, somebody. Amen. God's able to keep us a step ahead of getting stuck. A step ahead of forgetting that our spirit is willing, but our flesh is weak a step ahead of getting stuck in our own personal forms of denial and neglect and indifference and fear and selfishness, a step ahead of being lulled or fooled into this world's offerings of being stuck in greed, stuck in power, a stuck in being better uh, than somebody else. I can't help but to be uh, confused with these folks that are running things that are always talking about other folks don't have and other folks don't know and other folks shouldn't be considered when they're bumbling idiots and making a farce out of everything uh, that they do. Stuck in covetousness, stuck in anger, stuck in envy, stuck in jealousy. God helps us stay a step ahead of such callous thinking like it's all right to give billionaires a trillion dollar tax cut but because because they deserve it but restricting the working class to six hundred dollars each because they don't need it a step ahead 
of refusing to see that the Lord is good and worthy to be praised. A step ahead. Let me tell you, they don't read the Bible, don't study the Bible, don't debate the Bible and choose to remain ignorant of God's word because God's word would convict and condemn every one of them. God, they got everything and take, can't tell God thank you for anything. I don't know about you, but I don't want to be like that. Help me preach somebody. Paul wrote at Philippians 4 and 13, I'm content with whatever it is, uh, whatever situation. Uh, you see the world doesn't believe this, but I'm content. That's what Paul said. Uh, I'm content in whatever my situation, it doesn't matter. The challenge, I'm not going to get upset. I'm not going to project blame on somebody else. Uh, I'm going to take responsibility. I'm going to face accountability. I'm going to stay with Jesus. And when somebody says, how uh, can you uh, face your truth? How can you carry uh, your burden? How can you stand in the place of responsibility and accountability? How can you admit and confess uh, your shortcomings? How can you overcome uh, the pressure and the peer pressure of the world uh, that's always seeking to condemn and deny anybody who admits that they have any failing? Well, that's that's why you got so many liars in the world. That's why you got people uh, putting on a masquerade everywhere. That's why you have people carrying the burden of trying to smile when their heart is broken and tears are coming out of their eyes. I'm going to keep on because, yes, I'm faced with the same kind of challenges, but I believe, hallelujah, Philippians 4 and 15 that says, hallelujah, I can do all things. Yes, I can. Through Christ who strengthens me, beloved of the Father, we've got to keep on praying, keep on studying, keep on praising, keep on helping others, keep on giving, and periodically, we've got to fast sometimes, go without the things that we like, but it's all right, because you see, it keeps us a step ahead, a step ahead of the enemy. A step ahead of the hellhounds that are always positioned to, to bite and to snap at our heels. I wish uh, I had a witness. It keeps us on the threshold of victory. It keeps us being ushered into, uh, praise God, uh, God's open door of blessing. But the enemy is relentless, and we must remain Vigilant. Uh, that's why King David, he knew, he knew how to make a right decision. Hear me now. In a split second, he knew uh, how to, to, to go in that right direction. In the moment, standing on the promises and, and meditating on his feet, uh, he knew that the world wants to lull us into complacency so that we forget our love, look out only for ourselves, believe that we are in control. But 1 Samuel 20 and 23 says, I know, David said, I know how to step out on faith, but I stay close to the Savior because that's just a step between me and death. The songwriter said, I don't know about anybody else, but I'm going to trust in the Lord and I'm going to treat Everybody right. Praise God. Beloved community, better is coming. My best advice on this first Sunday of the year, keep getting closer to God. Along with everything else you're doing, continue in faith and work at and keep on getting closer to God. Keep doing the things that keep God on your conscience. Keep doing the things that make you uncomfortable with the life this world forces us to live. Keep doing the things that the Savior has recommended because if we keep doing the things, we'll keep our joy, we'll keep our hope, We'll keep our courage and we'll keep our peace and we'll be able to see that there is failure in the government and failure in the economic system and failure in the hearts and minds of men, but there is no failure Woo! in God. Help me preach.
somebody. Uh, beloved community, uh, hallelujah. God says as regards your stuck situation, uh, the enemy desires to sift you like wheat. But I desire, God says, that you be saved. Establish your connectivity, uh, not by getting close with your thousand dollar phone to the most proximate cell phone tower, but keep your connectivity by getting on your knees to pray. Who Jesus, find your way in the Holy Bible, which is the written word of the living God. Let the Holy Ghost Towing Company pull you out of the ditch that the devil has blinded you and caused you to drive into. And realize that if God was ever going to desert you, well, somebody who wants to tell the truth this morning, he would have done it a long time ago. God loves you, and there ain't nothing you can do about it. God loves you, and nobody, nothing uh, can stop it. God loves you, and God is with you. And if God be for you, then who? Somebody may form a weapon of gossip, a weapon of misdirection, a weapon of misinformation, a weapon of systematic exclusion. But thank God for a Savior who says the enemy may form weapons, but no weapon of the Christian will prosper. Uh, hallelujah. Stay close to Jesus. I'm almost done. Your security is sure. Your seat is in the kingdom. God says this is a year of faith and witness and testimony and victory and celebration and healing and blessing and deliverance. But it won't be anything unless we step out. God says step out on faith and on the authority of God's word. Say yes to him. It doesn't have to be a giant step. It can be a tiny baby step. We don't have to solve all of the problem on the same day. But step out. Psalm 119, 105 says, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light to my pathway. Step out. And so in this 27th Psalm, the psalmist confesses, I have received all of God's promises yet. The psalmist confesses, I haven't gotten rid of all of my stuck places yet. And I would have fainted, he said. Somebody here who's under so much pressure, 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 pressure. I don't know, but God knows you're under pressure. And you know what David meant when he said, I would have fainted. But hallelujah, he went on to say, but I didn't faint. I didn't faint because I kept my faith in God. And God made a way for me. You know what God, what David's talking about because I believe to see the goodness of the Lord. Not in the power of the sky like Massa used to say, not in the hereafter and the great by and by like Mr. Johnny wants us to believe, but I'm gonna get the blessings while breath, woo, hallelujah, is yet within me. And I'm going to step out on faith and then I'm going to wait. I'm done now. Help me, Holy Ghost, on the Lord. When you wait on him in 2021, you'll get some money, but you'll also get some mercy. Hallelujah, get happy, somebody. You'll get some security, but you'll get sanctification and salvation. You'll be better a year from now than you were. Uh, today. 
because God has never really stopped giving blessings. I heard somebody say that the Lord is blessing me right now. Beloved, step out on faith because we're living in the midst of God's potential. Step out on faith because there's more flowing, a hallelujah, than promotions and bonuses and increases and raises and acquisitions of more beautiful and luxurious things. That there's more flowing than folks going along with what we say and doing what we need for them to do to keep us encouraged. There's more flowing than what the world, hallelujah, there's some things flowing that the world didn't give and the world can't take away. Joys are flowing like a river since the comforter has come. Uh, he abides with us forever and makes the trusting heart his home. Blessed quietness, holy quietness, what assurance in my soul on the stormy seas in 2021. A hallelujah. Jesus speaks to me and the billows cease uh, to roll. Beloved, my best word for you, you've got the faith. Now step out upon it. God bless you in this 20, 21 year. Praise the Lord. Come on, help me. Praise the Lord, somebody. Praise the Lord. There's somebody who's been praying. It's the first Sunday of the year, and you pray and do what the Lord tells you to do. You know what the Lord is saying. You know what he's saying. You know where you need to step out. Well, joys are flowing like a reed. You know all about it, beloved, since the comfort. You know where the Lord is speaking to you. You know what God is saying. The storm is seen. Don't you know that Jesus speaks to me? Yes, he does. And the billows cease to roll. Blessed, blessed quietness. Whoa, holy quietness. If you're at home and you desire to be connected with a church family, don't worry about walking in. Don't worry about coming down the aisle. Don't worry about confessing in front of the congregation. Just send an indication. Jesus speaks to I'm ready. And we will respond. Hallelujah. Just a word of prayer, just a word of prayer. Eternal God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day, the many blessings of this day. Lord, we pray a special prayer. We're going into healing now. We pray a prayer for, for Sister Virginia Steele, a charter member of this church. We say a prayer, a hallelujah miracle would be a small thing for you, God. And so we put Virginia in your capable hands. Show us who's in charge. Bless us with the encouragement we need. Put the fear of faith within us that we'll cling to you. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, for every one of us that is in prayer right now, you know all about it. You know all about it. So come Holy Spirit, come Heavenly Dove with all thy quickening power. Give us life in the places where we need. And put rejoicing in our hearts. This is our prayer. In Jesus' name, In Jesus we name. pray. Amen. Amen. Getting ready for communion. There may be someone who's glad you got a second chance to make a second thought. Go on and send in your indication. And those who are already uh, confirmed and affirmed, baptized and on the road, be encouraged. The Lord is not through with you yet. Sing it one more good time, chorus. Hallelujah. Blessed, blessed quietness. Well, holy quietness. Oh, yeah. What a 
together. confession to Almighty God by meekly kneeling. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of your tender mercy did give your only Son, Jesus Christ, to suffer death on the cross for our redemption, who made thereby his oblation of himself once offered a full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice, an oblation and satisfaction for the sins of of the whole world and did institute and in his holy gospel command us to continue a perpetual memory of that his precious death until his coming again. Hear us, O merciful Father, we humbly beseech you and grant that we receiving these your creatures of bread and wine according to your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, his holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread. When he had given thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup. And when he had given thanks again, he gave to them, saying, Drink ye all of it, for this is my blood of the New Testament, shed for you and for many for the remission of sin. The body of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ broken on the cross of Calvary. I praise God. Thank you, Jesus. The blood of Christ shed on the cross at Calvary. Cleanse of all iniquity. Wash a hallelujah of every sin. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. body of Christ, the blood of Christ, and now at home you may serve yourselves in the way that you've become accustomed. First, the bread, hallelujah, the body of Christ broken on the cross, preserve your soul and body to everlasting life. The blood of Christ, you may take it and serve of those who are there, uh, cleanses us of all iniquity and washes of every sin. Praise the Lord. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. Those who are here. Those who are here. I know it was the blood for me. Yes, for me. The blood came streaming down for me. Yes, for me. One day when I was when lost, I was lost he died. Those who are here, oh, and I 
We're going to save the choir for last. He hung his head and died. My Savior hung his head and died. My Savior hung his head and died for me. Yes, for me. One day when I was long he died upon the cross. Well, well, and I know it was the blood. There is a fountain filled. There is a fountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel's veins. Choir, won't you come now? You're representing some great choirs. And sinners plunged beneath that flood, lose all their guilty stains, lose all their guilty Presenting some great choirs. Great choirs. Lord, bless the remnant and bless those who by plague have been exiled. Pass me not, O gentle Savior. strength indeed is small. Lord. 
Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. What a fellowship, what a joy divine. Praise the Lord. Hug somebody if you're close, if you're sheltering in. It's all right. Uh, because if you're sheltering in and you have something, you already got it. Thank you, Jesus. Well, leaning, thank God, leaning, oh, say, that's you, oh, 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 thank God, I'm on your feet, oh, leaning, leaning, on the everlasting We'll be on the prayer call, God willing, tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. I believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Step out on faith. Now unto him who's able to keep us from falling, present us faultless before uh, his throne in exceeding grace and mercy, the all-wise God. Be glory, majesty, dominion, and power now henceforth and forevermore. And let us all sing together. Yeah.